chapter 24, verses 3 to 5. But when they went in, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel. And as they were frightened and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? I love it. I am just convinced in my spirit this morning that someone needs to be saying to someone else, I'm not where you left me. I'm not where you last dealt with me. I'm not where we had that interaction the last time. I have arisen, I have grown, I have moved beyond that. You know, there are some folks that are certain that you are stuck in that space, in that mold, in that stage that they last saw you. Because for so long they're used to you with that issue or those issues. They're used to you struggling with those situations. They have put you in a box. They have put boundaries around you. And they're prepared to continue dealing with you according to how they knew you. But ask them, why seek ye the living among the dead? I have arisen. I am not what I used to be. Yes, you may have known me that way for the past 20 years, but I have arisen. God has done an awesome work in me. God has changed me. You thought I could never get better. You thought I could never get over it, but you will not find me where you last saw me. Thank God. We serve a God who is the resurrection and the life. We serve a God who knows how to convert and change. We serve a God who is a transformer, a transformer of mind and spirit and eventually body. So guess what? God has done a work in me. I'm not the person I used to be. It's different now. I have arisen. So I'm not where you last saw me. Thank God and God bless you. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. at 10 Union Square, Crossroads, Kingston, Jamaica. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via YouTube Live.